Transfield Technologies is a major business unit of Transfield, which is a leader in the provision of engineering, shipbuilding, construction and maintenance services to the defence, maritime, power, infrastructure, process and building industries. For more than 65 years, Transfield Technologies has been Australia's leading provider of power generation and maintenance services, materials handling, process engineering and control equipment to a wide range of industries. Transfield Power is the division of Transfield Technologies that designs, manages and constructs new plant. Transfield Power has proven itself a technical innovator in power generation, industrial boiler and associated industries. As a result of our innovation, quality and expertise, Transfield Power is currently constructing the sixth 500 megawatt brown coal fired boiler and associated plant in a series for the State Electricity Commission of Victoria. Located in the Latrobe Valley, the Loyang B power station has two units which complement Loyang A's four 500 megawatt units that were previously completed by Transfield Power Projects to form the backbone of the Victorian power generating capacity. The Loyang stations are supplied from the Loyang Open Cut Mine where Transfield built dredges and conveyor systems. Each unit of Loyang B stands 110 metres high, approximately 30 storeys, has over 9,000 tonnes of steelwork in 23,000 members, over 24,000 site welds, more than 92 kilometres of cabling, uses 250 tonnes of water and consumes 177 kilograms of pulverised coal per second. Unit 1 of Loyang B was handed over to joint owners, the State Electricity Commission of Victoria and Mission Energy Australia on the 30th of September 1993. The quality of design and construction has allowed Unit 1 to operate for the first seven months to date at approximately 520 megawatts, well above the rated load of 500 megawatts. The selection of key equipment and erection methods early in the pre-planning stage of the project allowed the design, manufacture and delivery of components to suit the erection plan that included safety and access provisions in the manufacture of the structural elements. Core columns and beams had support brackets installed to provide safe access and stable work platforms. The manufacturing process is monitored through Transfield expediters and quality inspectors, as well as regular reporting by the contractors themselves. We look to utilise local providers where they can meet our needs and also draw on international resources where required. Erection work for Unit 2 commenced on January 6, 1993 with the standing of the first core columns. The core steelwork consists of fabricated columns up to 85 tonnes each and fabricated beams over 5 metres deep. To maximise the efficient use of equipment and resources, the erection of core steel and major components was undertaken by two shifts over a period of 12 weeks when local weather conditions were most favourable. Extensive pre-planning and engineering of temporary supports minimised the number of lifts required for the erection of the head steel beams. The head steel erection in May 1993 was a major milestone as it was accomplished within five months, well ahead of schedule, international standard practice and included installation of major components and peripheral steelwork. Erecting the major components with the structure allowed the components to be pre-assembled to the largest practical sizes prior to installation, reducing the time and costs for this work and allowing for the most efficient use of equipment and manpower. For example, the air preheaters were installed with beams and insulation as units weighing 235 tonnes each. 
A significant proportion of our insulation work was completed prior to erection, reducing the amount of scaffolding required and allowing easier access to the boiler workface. Following the completion of core steel, the critical path changed to pressure parts in June 1993 with the erection of buck stays, economiser gas outlet casing and water wall panels. The pressure parts were erected using two hydraulic winches set on rails mounted directly on the head steel. This allowed the precise positioning of lift points for the furnace enclosure. As work progressed, items such as the buck stays, burners and headers were located into temporary positions when clear access for the large pre-assembled components that would follow was available. Final positioning and consolidation occurred at a later date as individual areas were closed up and finalised. Although the main emphasis at this point was on pressure parts, the erection of peripheral steel, major ductwork, drying shafts, separator vessel and other components continued concurrently. Minor items such as pipe hangers, supports and downpipes were fixed to the steel prior to erection. Less than 12 months after the commencement of site erection works, the first of the major GAH duct lifts signalled the advanced status of Unit 2. The erection of these superheater panels commenced on January the 10th, 1994, using a unique rail and tilt frame system, which saw 74 panels positioned in just six weeks. The elements were erected in a daisy chain fashion with adjustable connectors for the pressure welds. The completion of the superheater element erection allowed the temporary safety floor to be installed in the furnace enclosure. The safety floor provided a barrier to permit works on the hopper panels in the basement to occur with the welding of the superheater elements above. The hopper panels were erected and welded vertically and pulled in to form the hopper throat. The ring main header for the water walls was pre-assembled into a single unit prior to erection. The transport of pre-assembled precipitator ducts weighing 319 tonnes each commenced in April 1994. The ability to realise some dramatic time savings, as seen on Unit 2, was achieved through broad communication and coordination within our organisation, with manufacturers and with our client. The planning and coordination of Loyang B involved a site erection program that included over 7,500 site activities and was created, developed and monitored by an experienced team of planning engineers. Loyang B used the P2 project planning software, but our planning team has expertise in a number of other planning and general computer packages to meet our clients' requirements. In order to best control the project, the programmed activities form the basis of our cost control system and is directly related to our quality assurance program to fully integrate the key elements of time, cost and quality. Transfield Power Projects is accredited by Lloyds of London to ISO 9001, the highest level of international quality assurance available. Transfield Power is continually monitoring world trends to enable state-of-the-art technologies to be utilised for the benefit of our clients. We are constantly striving to better our previous achievements with regard to time, cost, quality and safety. Mobilised and grouped as required to ensure the delivery of service to our clients, our team of qualified engineers, supervisors and personnel offer an unrivalled breadth of experience to clients seeking engineering, turnkey or build-own operate services. We are also able to call upon the skills and resources of other Transfield companies when necessary. At Transfield, it is realised that every project has unique problems and characteristics. Our ingenuity, innovation and experience will allow us to adapt to overcome any obstacle required to realise your project. Loyang B is a prime example of the scope, expertise and world-class standard of Transfield Power's activities. It is a project of which Transfield is justifiably proud.